Now I want to show you something else. And hopefully this won't confuse you as you watch, as you get to work on this yourself. But I find it's better to have the project library down here at the bottom, not up here at the top. I like to have it down here because I have more space that way. You can swap them because that way your preview window is up here and all your sample clips are up here. That is your event library sample clips. And what there's a little button down here with double arrows. You click on that and it'll swap the events and projects. In fact, it gives you a cool little swish effect when you do it. Let me go ahead and do it. I'll have the swoosh effect. Swoosh. <laughs> and so now you have a timeline that's a little more reminiscent of what you might have seen in something like iMovie 6 or Final Cut Pro, you know, those types of things. So you basically have a, a, a collection of clips that you've got that goes from left to right. And then when I see a clip I want, I can just come up here and grab it. So I can say, you know, basically I'm looking through here and trying to find my clips. Oh, by the way, if you find this is taking up a lot of room, you can close that out just by clicking that star button. I'll show you again. That's how I can go to my different events. But if I know everything I want is in this one event, then just click that little star button. And now I get to see more of my clips at a glance, which is nice. So I can choose the exact clip that I want. Well, you know I'm a big sci-fi fan and there's that Lunar Lander. So that's going to be a great one for me because I actually have a model of the Lunar Lander that you might have seen in a previous video. Okay, there's a clip. So basically I'm just drawing a box. I'm clicking and dragging to select what I want. Get it just right. There's a piece I want. And then I just click on it and drag it down here. And if it looks like I got a little too much, then I can, uh, I can trim it out. So if there's a piece here at the beginning I really don't want, it's a little too long, I select what I want to get rid of and I hit delete. Now here's something that might be confusing. Up here, when you want to add stuff to your project, you select what you want and then you throw it in. Okay? Down here, when you select something, that's when you want to cut and throw away. Now don't worry, you're not actually throwing away anything from your original clips. Your original clips are still safe and sound. Right there's your clip. Click on that, hit delete, and then it shortened that clip. Now, you may not have noticed it. One thing I want to show you is in viewing things, this is your little preview to see 10 seconds up here. That means it's going to show you a thumbnail for your video clip every 10 seconds. Now I can change that, slide it to the right and say every 30 seconds or all. So there's all my clips and I can say show me a preview every 30 seconds. So here's that first clip right here and it showed me a, a preview of every 30 seconds. But I can zoom it in to make a really detailed cut all the way down to half a second so I can make a really specific grab and grab exactly the end. It makes it really easy for me to get exactly to where I need to stop. Oh, there we and There. There's the end of the guy. And then I can choose whenever the beginning is of that sentence that he says and then I can just click it and drag it down here. It's that simple. And if you get it in the wrong place, it's not a big deal. You can rearrange them. You click on the clip, drag it over here, you rearrange it. By the way, if it doesn't let you select the entire clip, um, you can come up here and you can right click or control plus click and choose select entire clip. And when you do that, it highlights the entire clip and then you can drag the whole thing down into your project. Okay. So now I have this video down here. And again, I can change my view down here just like I had one up top to be able to do this, to adjust. I can adjust one here and I can say I want to see f more frames per second. There's one every second. So at a glance I can easily see, slide it all the way to the right, it's like zooming out where I just see one icon for each video clip. This is similar to what iMovie 6 used to have, just one icon for one video clip. And if you want to go back to that old style, there you go. That's the way to do it. But if you want to see a little more detail to be able to select exactly what you want, you can zoom in just by sliding that over and it gives you a little more viewing ability to see what you're doing. So there you go. Basically, you've created a video. You have some video that you imported in. Uh, it's real simple to do with iMovie. You connect the camera and it automatically detects it usually. If not, you hit the camera icon. You select the clips that you want. You drag them down here. You rearrange them. 
delete out any parts you don't want, and there you go. There's your video. And then all you have to do is export it, which I'll be covering in a later video on some of the options you have for exporting your video. The next video, I'm going to talk a little bit about adding photos to your videos. And, you know, kind of the Ken Burns effect. You know who Ken Burns was, the Civil War documentary guy? Well, there were no movie cameras back in the Civil War. But he made a movie documentary out of nothing but pictures, really, of the Civil War. And he did that by panning across images and zooming in on portions of them. I'll show you how to do that in our next video. Thank you.